The International Olympic Committee decided not to listen to the World Anti-Doping Agency and not ban Russia from the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics. A number of Russian athletes will be barred from the Rio Games, but as far as other international competitions, that probably will be decided on an event-to-event -event basis. So sports fans can sit back and enjoy the Rio Games and sports competition without feeling guilty about getting pleasure out of the event. There are some complaints that the Russians should have been tossed for breaking the rules. But just whose rules? Sports rules? International law? Individual sports federations? The International Gymnastic Federation, the International Volleyball Federation, and the International Judo Federation decided all was fine in the Olympics world, and they would not be behind any ban of Russian athletes. No country is boycotting the games because of doping. Meanwhile, in the real world, there is Brazil, a country that paid dearly for the privilege of hosting the 2014 World Cup of Soccer, and now the Olympics. There is a huge list of unique problems going into this athletic competition that seems unprecedented. The usual shortfall of money to pay for everything physically needed for the Games, from stadiums to the Olympic Village to security, may be the least of Brazil's problems. The country's president has been impeached and is facing charges. Revenues from the Brazilian oil industry are missing. The Zika virus is either awful or no big deal, depending on which expert you believe, both Brazilian and Olympic officials claim it's no big deal. There's a severe water pollution problem, and Brazil has arrested a dozen people who are said by authorities to be part of a plot to inflict harm. Still, the games must go on. And Russian doping is really much to do about nothing because after the Paralympics leave town in September, Brazil will have to live with the sports consequences. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.